What brought you out here to Andromeda? Back home, I was filling test tubes in some dead-end lab. People knew me as Stefan, but that was never who I was. I knew what I could do, and I knew who I wanted to do it as. Hainley Abrams, Andromeda Explorer. That's me. Feels good. Feels right. Congratulations. Talk about a whole new life. Thanks. Once my fiancé is out of stasis, it will be complete. When it's time, I'm hoping Bradley will perform our wedding ceremony. What kind of research are you working on? Your basic first in scientific work, soil, water, atmospherics, plus studying remnant tech, because now I need to understand that to survive here. Activating that vault changed the planet. Anything to worry about? Considering it's world-altering technology we've never encountered before, I hope not. But the storms show no signs of returning, and I know who to contact for remnant tech support. I'll take it. What do you make of Lieutenant Bradley? Determined as hell. And he has incredible faith in us to get this done. Bradley would carry this outpost on his back if he had to, and we'll make sure he never has to. I've gotta go. Keep up the good work. Rider. Any new supplies? You haven't got a fuel cell, have you? The quartermaster says there's plenty, but she would. Wait, oh, shit, you're the Pathfinder. Sorry, no one said VIPs were coming by. I'm just Ryder. Nice to meet you. Likewise, I'm Fox, chief engineer for Podromos. Anything you need, ask away. What brought you all the way to Andromeda? There's a colony back home you've never heard of. Viridus. It failed, hard. I grew up there watching things fall apart. When I left, I got into infrastructure, civil engineering, boring stuff unless you've ever lived without it. I wanted to do Viridus right, I guess. And the initiative was my best chance. What are the other outpost staff like? Like Connor, you mean? She's pretty fun when you get to know her. Just don't get to know her over a poker game. Trust me. What do you think about your new home? First impressions? We've got water, clear skies for solar power, plants to farm. The remnants are a wild card, but Bradley says you have them covered. It'll take work, no question, but I think Eos is really going to be something. What do you do here? My team gets things going. Water, power, communications, everything a civilization needs. Well, not laws or a constitution, but it's easier to concentrate on those when you got a flushing toilet. Bye, Fox. Have a good one. Work rosters. That data pad mentioned the name Jennings. Here, Axel Jennings. Assigned to set up weather monitoring devices all over the desert. Only one location matches the sun from the medical equipment. A monolith. Let's go.
Has of that work crew, but someone left their gear behind. Wait, I've got an open comm channel. Easy money. Once the electrical charge builds up, we'll have ourselves some nice obedient remnant. You better be sure this time, Jennings. If you're that spooked, go hide behind the four giants. I'm busy. Damn it, we've got to find them before they get themselves killed. up looks like a cat construct tough to get used to life on this rock too long staring at it from the nexus and knowing we'd failed a hard world but you can get used to anything if you try people want to come here just like they wanted to come to andromeda except now they'll know what they'll find like this made a lot of kids think of alien worlds. Help us! Please!
Great timing. Thanks for the assist. Your experiment with the Remnant didn't work out. Huh. Okay, who squealed? Gasperick? Yeah, I bet. These Remnant could plow our fields, protect us from the Ket. You control them, why shouldn't we? How many people need to get hurt before you stop this? Pathfinder's got a point, Jennings. <sighs> Fine. But you can't protect us all the time, Pathfinder. Out here, we need every edge we can get.